So why am I showing you a windowsill? You're going to see in a minute here. A lot of these pictures that are coming up, some of you guys are, are familiar with. And besides the fact that I got myself into some, into some pretty decent shape, I think, uh, what makes these pictures unique is that I took them myself. Didn't use anyone, and uh, I used a windowsill. That's basically how this was done. Windowsill, uh, self-timer, which most phones have, and I positioned myself in this manner. Uh, so, a uh, camera basically between the light source and myself. And I took video today in the gym of what this looks like, and I think this is the most honest um, and consistent way of, 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 of keeping track of your progress, whether it be a contest prep or, or the off-season. You definitely, uh, you know, want to control those variables when it comes to monitoring your progress. I think it's really, really important. Uh, so again... As you can see, here's the proof. Melissa's back there enjoying her mac and cheese. I'm not interrupting her, letting her enjoy her meal while I while I take my progress pictures. And again, self timer, and I basically just followed that order of operation, and I got some pretty good, honest shots, I believe. Um, so again, really, really important that we keep things consistent when it comes to monitoring progress, because again, pictures, that's the bottom line. That's basically what's telling us are we heading in the right direction or not. And again, off-season or contest prep. Uh, this lighting here, coined uh, by Matt Ogus, is half natty lighting. I think the biggest issue with this, so light source is to my side, is the fact that it makes me look a little better than I actually look. And as you're gonna see here, I actually fell victim to half natty lighting. This was, this was in 2008, so here I was in pretty good shape. 160 pounds, but this next picture here, I was actually about 20 pounds over contest weight. So I showed up fat, but according to my half natty lighting, I looked okay until I got on stage and the truth came out. So uh, again, especially if you're relaying pictures to, you know, say an online coach or to yourself like I was, make sure it's the way we, we talked about earlier. Uh, so you have the half natty lighting, the indoor lighting, which as you can see, just you know, cast some really ugly shadows sometimes. Uh, ugly shadows and then the colors tend to be off, either too bright, too dark, uh, just very inconsistent lighting. Uh, outside, kind of the same thing. And actually, I was trying to narrate this, but it wasn't working out because, as you can see, I'm right by a freeway, so that didn't work out. But I actually tried to uh, set myself up for some very fair outdoor lighting. I put the camera in between the light source and myself. And um, still, you're gonna see we had some some weird shadowing. Uh, another thing with you know going outside is you're gonna get some weird colors depending on what time of the day it is, what time of the year it is. Uh, you know the sun eventually will move across the sky a bit, and that can definitely make for some inconsistency. So um, yeah, you know as you can see, there's just certain segments and certain details that we're just not able to. To really monitor and again when you're prepping someone I know for me when I get good clear consistent pictures it makes my job so much easier and same thing with the off season you know uh, especially as you do this longer progress slows down so you want to make sure you have good honest feedback so again windowsill is your secret weapon been using it for years and besides and, and also just remember this very simple rule do this and you will find yourself uh, having just way more consistent pictures.